Hey, yeah, welcome to my shop. The other day somebody asked me how Brandy's doing. Here he is, under his all get out. But he's doing okay, still likes his popcorn. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make two things in this video. I'm gonna show you a picture in a second. So uh, just uh, stay tuned and we're gonna go ahead and do it. We're gonna make a cutting board and turn a pin while we're waiting for the court cutting board glue to dry up. All right, what I've got is uh, two pieces of wood, and it's walnut, and it's 12 by about 9, and this is silver maple, and it's 12 by probably 8 and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to uh, cut one, this is a half, I'll see how it's a half inch, I'm going to cut one piece a half inch off this one, one piece a half inch off this one. All right, we're going to do uh, one half inch from here, one half inch from there. I think I'm only going to come up a quarter inch. Like I said. Right, a quarter. I'm going to cut that two of those. And these will be now, this is three quarters of an inch. I'm going to make a cutting board out of all of those. So I'm going to take them over to the other table and arrange them somehow. Now here's the basic uh, look of it. The thing I'm going to do is uh, take all of these off and give you some wax paper. I don't know if I told you or not, but I'm in the process of making Christmas presents for my, for my ladies. Uh, this is the third one of these I made. I've got two more after this one. So I use tight bond too, and I lay it on one side. There's one, and that one right there. And I found the fingers the best tool. One side's a little rough, like this one's a little rough. You need to put a little more so to fill any gaps. Alright, this should be the last one. Well, while I was waiting for that set up, I decided I'd, you know, rather than just sit around, I'd do something. I decided I'd turn a pin. I haven't turned a pin in at least two years, and I've got lots of kits that I bought when I was really into it. But I, I saw I lost interest in turning pins. But here's here's one I'm going to turn now. I hadn't forgot how, but it's called a skeleton key pin kit, and uh, here's all the parts right here. I guess this is the bulk of it. Here's the tube. I, what I, I like this because it's already roughed up. A lot of them you got to rough them up. And you, you know, there's the top and there's the whatever you call it thing and a spring and the ink. And I guess that's where to get the word key because that's the clasp, the pocket clasp. So I've already picked my blank. I've got it over here. Got my pen jaws out. I've got it here, and what I did is I went ahead and uh, just set it in there, and I used the uh, live center to mark my point, and I'm going to cut this off in a second, 
I get my measurement from my tube and then I'll go find the right drill bit and I'll put it back on and we'll drill it from right here for the tube. And then we'll go get some epoxy and well, I think first you have to trim the ends. So we'll do that and then we'll get some epoxy and glue the tube in. Then we'll have to wait a while and by then we'll be able to turn it up. And one reason I wanted to do uh, show you guys a pin is because I, I do it different than, than anybody else I've seen and primarily the, it's a sanding I do different. I totally wet sand it and I only use three grits and I can do it in a matter of just minutes and you know I'm not putting anybody else down but I think they waste a lot of paper and a lot of time. I've got tons and tons of experience of finishing cars and airplanes and one thing I know is how to sand. So Pay attention and we'll, we're going to do that. I'll show you a new quick way to do it. It ends up with the same results. What I have here is a 3 8 uh, brad point drill bit. I've got the blank in my jaws. I've already measured the length of the tube. And I went and, I went and cut it off so it ought to be just about perfect. So let's see what we could do here. I found that this is... This way serves me best. I have one of those jigs for sitting it in the drill press, but uh, I found I found that this is better. E even the jig can get sometimes a little off. So let's see what we got here. It's trying to wobble a little bit on me. Coming here real slow. It's all right as long as you can see the shavings coming out. And I think it's all the way through. I didn't measure the length of this drill bit. I should have done that. I think it's long enough. Looks like it would be. Very good. Perfect, my friends. So now it's time to get the epoxy that in. Let me get this out of here and get a couple things together and we'll continue. I've got, uh, got my glue and everything together. All I have is 30 minutes of epoxy. I used to use uh, CA glue, but I had too many of them turned loose on me. And what I, what I know is that CA glue is very brittle. When it, when it sets up and uh, you know if you have any flex at all in there it, it sometimes it breaks. Whereas epoxy you know has some flex even when it's really hard. Alright, so I got everything together here I think. Got my coke can, got my epoxy, got my blank, got my tube and this tube is already roughed up. It comes that way from the factory. I've got a tube holder I made like that. Which is what what I'll really use that for. We got a cotton swab, got a stirring stick, got some denatured alcohol. The denatured alcohol part of it is probably not necessary, but it that sure doesn't hurt anything. So what I use it for basically is I just clean things with. It's probably not necessary, but why not if you got it right? And the inside of this. Alright, that's all you should have to do there. Next thing to do is mix up the epoxy. Not going to need much. This is the resin. I've, uh, I keep my epoxies in the refrigerator, so I've, oh, oh, I've had this in uh, hot water in the sink. Maybe approximately the same amount in here. Hard to way, way too much, but 
do what you do. Take my stir and stick and whip her up. This kind of epoxy does not take a stirring like you would a uh, casting epoxy. Take that over to do it right there. I'll come in here and I'm going to coat this, coat this with it. And I will stick it in the hole, making sure I give it some twist on the way. And turn it up right there. Make sure that this end is a little bit low, and it is. And that's it. Probably ought to give it about an hour. Yeah, I believe it's dry or sit up rather, it don't really dry. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ream it out. And what that does is that will turn it down to where the edge of the brass will show. I always like to put them on and then start it. You don't need to go very fast. see the shine there and you're there so that's it it's ready to go to mandrel okay there's there's the mandrel I have the kind that uses this to live center I like them I've used both I like these better because if you won't bow your mandrel like the other ones will it has to go in there and this one is in there and fit into there I always like to put an extra one on here to give me a little bit of work room. And this naturally will go into here. And we'll fit right in there. Like so. I've got our wear face shield. Chipping out. Ooh. No, it's not. It's looking good. It's looking good. different than everybody else. So let me gather, gather up everything and I'll get back with you. Well, I'm pretty hacked off. I just just sanded and polished this and for some reason the recorder was off. But I'm going to run through it again even though it doesn't need it. But I'm not going to do the heavy paper. Okay, I used wet or dry paper, a cup of warm soapy water, and this is 180. And I do it, you know, until it gets a little smooth. Then I come back in here with 320. And the same thing. And then I go with 600. Right here, same thing. And finally, oh, look at that there. I use 1200. Okay, now the one thing, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this again because it'll polish up again, no big deal. When you take the 1200, and first I hit it on this side, Went dog and got in a hurry, didn't it? And I turn it over, keeping it wet, and I use this side. 
This whole process takes less than five minutes. So I'll do it like that. And then, and then I come in here with, uh, this is Headlight Lens Restorer on a paper towel. Getting out, I do. All right. You see now the uh, the twelve hundred dollars somewhat. So I'm gonna come in here and put some of this on it, and we're gonna hit it again. And I like to turn it pretty fast. And you can see the shine come up right away. I don't know what I did to the camera the time before, but I have I have timed this before back when I turned pins. After the gluing, I can turn the pin and polish it and assemble it in seven and a half minutes. And that's no lie. close. There it is all focused. I just want you to see that. How nice that turned out. That is as smooth as glass. You will not get it any shinier with anything. I don't care what you use. There you go. Now I'm going to take it off and clean it up and uh, we'll put it together. All right, this is a super, super easy pin to assemble. Basically you just slide this one on. I was able to put it on by hand. Inside here is the, uh, well you can, I'll unscrew it to show you. All right. Trust me, there's a spring in there. I guess it's in there. Anyway, there's a spring in there. You can see that. And basically, just back on and screw it in. You put uh, the clip on right here. And you put that on there and you press them together. And this, these are those things I made a long time ago, and they got a piece of leather on them. So I put that, and that over like that. And that tip, hold on a minute. Okay, there you go. I'm going to turn put that in here like this, and you bring this one up to here. Tighten it up. And then, compress it. There you go. Done, my friends. It's the next morning. Time to take a look at it and then take it over to the planer. I need to weigh that thing. I'm going to take these things and put them on the lathe and uh, turn them where they fit these holes right. Pitiful. It's a Harbor Freight table. I guess that makes the explanation plausible. Let's go over and do some planing. 
Well, I went ahead and planed it on both sides and routed the edge and forgot to turn on the camera. So, I'm not sure everybody's seen routing before. Anyway, they, they turned out pretty nice. Now I'm getting ready to put some of these little feet on, on the corners. On the four corners. on the bottom be done. This is a <coughs> short and quick demo or video, but you know I just want to show I do other things other than turning wood. It, it uh, makes things a little more interesting when you uh, vary in what you do. So there you are. Well here you go. Turn a nice little pin and a cutting board. My wife likes it. I was gonna put her up. I guess you call it a juice trough in it, but she didn't want one. You know, one of them troughs that goes around like this. But she didn't want one, so that's the way it is. It's, uh, I think it turned out fine. It's finished with mineral oil. So there you go, my friends. First pin I've turned in over two years, so I don't guess I really forgot how. So, if you like what I do, subscribe, call your friends, and above all, call your mama. And keep them whirling. Take care. Goodbye.